，没有，没有，我们都多，现在是肯定的。On the 18th of November, 1864, in a public square somewhere in Nanshan, imperial executioners, surrounded by large crowds, were delivering a slow and painful death to a 14-year-old child. The boy, as he was being tied to a wooden stake, uttered his last words. Guangdong isn't a nice place. I don't want to go back. These words probably reflected his utter lack of understanding of what was happening to him and to his lost kingdom. The 14-year-old child was none other than the King of Heaven, the nephew of Jesus Christ himself, the child king of the heavenly kingdom of Taiping, a boy called Hong Tian Guifu, and in a public square in Nanchang, he was being sliced to death. Ling Chu translated variously as the slow process, the lingering death, or slow slicing, and also known as death by a thousand cuts, was a brutal form of torture and execution. According to lore, Ling Chu began when the torturer, wielding an extremely sharp knife, began by putting out the eyes. Successive, rather minor cuts, chopped off ears, nose, tongue, fingers, toes, and genitals, before proceeding to cuts that removed large portions of flesh from more sizable parts, such as the thighs and shoulders. The second and last king of the heavenly kingdom of Taiping succeeded his father, Hong Xiuquan, in June 1864, as the heavenly kingdom was collapsing. The Taiping Heavenly Kingdom was a Christian rebel state tasked with overthrowing the Manchus and bringing forward a major transformation of Chinese society. Hong, a self-proclaimed convert to Christianity and the brother of Jesus Christ, led an army that controlled a significant part of southern China during the middle of the 19th century, eventually expanding to command a population base of nearly 30 million people from the city of Tianjin, present-day Nanjing. This all started back in 1837, when Hong Xiuquan, a peasant from a poor mountain village, once again failed the imperial examinations. He returned home, fell sick, and was bedridden for several days, during which he experienced mystical visions. In 1843, after reading a pamphlet he had received from a Protestant missionary, Hong finally understood what his visions meant. He was none other than the brother of Jesus Christ and was sent to rid China of the corrupt government, Confucian teachings, and the Manchu demons. Shortly after his visions, Hong began preaching his teachings across Guangxi in 1844. He gathered followers and founded the God Worshipping Society, a movement which fused together Christianity, Taoism, Confucianism, and other beliefs, forming what is called by historians as Taiping Christianity. When local officials launched a campaign of religious persecution against the God-worshipping society, a rebellion broke out. In early January 1851, a 10,000-strong rebel army routed Qing forces stationed in Jintian. On January 11, 1851, Hong declared himself as the heavenly king of the heavenly kingdom of peace. 
the Taiping army pressed north into Hunan, besieging Changsha, occupying Yuezhou, and then capturing Wuchang in December 1852 after reaching the Yangtze River. At this point, the Taiping leadership decided to move east along the Yangtze River, and the city of Anqing was captured in February of 1852. In March 1853, the Taipings captured the city of Nanjing and declared it the heavenly capital of the Taiping Kingdom and renamed it to Tianjin. The Taipings considered all Manchus to be demon and killed all the Manchu men in the city. They then forced the Manchu women and children outside the city and burned them to death. The Taiping Kingdom then tried to forge alliances with European powers, but failed. In fact, many European military advisors actually served with the Qing army. In May 1860, the Taiping defeated the imperial forces that had been besieging Nanjing since 1853, eliminating them from the region and opening the way for a successful invasion of southern Jiangsu and Zhejiang. The Taiping rebels took Hangzhou on March 19th, Changzhou on May 26th, and Suzhou on June 2nd. While Taiping forces were gaining ground in Jiangsu, imperial forces were moving down river to meet them. A Taiping attempt to take Shanghai in August of 1860 was repulsed by an army of Qing troops supported by European officers. This army would become known as the Ever Victorious Army. In 1861, Imperial armies captured Anqing with help from a British naval blockade on the city. Near the end of 1861, the Taipings captured Ningbo and Hangzhou. May of 1862, Imperial armies began to besiege Nanjing, and Hong Xiuquan declared that God would defend Nanjing. God did not. In June 1864, Hong died of food poisoning and Qing forces took the city. His body was exhumed to verify his death, cremated, and his ashes were blasted out of a cannon. The remainder loyal Taiping forces continued to fight in northern Zhejiang, rallying around the new king of the heavenly kingdom, Hong Tian Gui Fu. On the 9th of October 1864, the new king of heaven's forces were ambushed at Shichang. Hong Tian Guifu escaped to the mountains after his force was wiped out, but he was caught on the 25th of October by Qing soldiers searching for him and was promptly escorted to Nanchang. The fate of the Heavenly Kingdom was finally sealed in a public square in Nanchang with the torture and execution of a 14-year-old godchild. The Taiping Rebellion was the largest conflict in China since the Qing Conquest in 1644. It also ranks as one of the bloodiest wars in human history, the bloodiest civil war and the largest conflict of the 19th century, with estimates of war dead ranging from 20 to 30 million. <laughs>